artist living in Longford. I studied art in Cavan Institute and then went on to get my BA in art in IEDT in Dunleary. I, my work focuses on plants and animals, which is heavily inspired by my upbringing in rural Ireland. I live in Longford in an incredibly rural area. Where I grew up it's, and where I'm currently living, it's completely surrounded by fields and hedgerows and plants. It's an incredibly ecologically diverse area. It was always a constant in my daily life. So growing up in rural Ireland, surrounded by so much ecological diversity, it does have a huge impact on how you view the environment and animals and plants. Um, my mother was a keen gardener and she was always very interested in the idea of sustainable living and natural remedies. And because of that, I learned a lot about plants and flowers and all of my family members were also, including myself, we were all highly empathetic towards animals. My space is quite limited. I'm still living at home with my parents and a lot of my work is confined to my bedroom, which can cause issues because I do work in quite a large format. And so it means working on a desk isn't really an option. So I have to kind of alternate between working on the floor and hanging my work on the wall with binder clips and nails. I also do a lot of work on my computer as well, editing images and research photos. I use a software called Clip Paint Pro as well as a lot of free online softwares. So by nature I'm a quite unfocused person, that kind of stereotypical head in the clouds, which is probably why I use so many different elements in my work. Um, I alternate between different mediums a lot. And I think it's because I can get bored quite easily. I'm constantly trying new things or different mediums and I feel it's in that experimentation or playful exploration that new ideas or that I feel ideas kind of really begin to develop in my work. In my work I find myself most drawn to using line as a form of representing my subjects. And when it comes to animals, their textures, their shapes, their forms, every animal and every plant is incredibly unique from one another. And when it comes to nature, you can never be bored. It's a constant source of inspiration and it's always changing. I don't feel that there's any particular medium that's integral to my work. As I said, I'm quite experimentational. All of my subjects, uh, animals that I represent in my work are photographed myself. All of the plants which are printed, I gather myself. So I think that the most important thing is that I'm in an environment that supports these plants and these animals. So recently I've been focusing on moths and studying the different species that can be found in my environment. Moths play a very vital role in our ecosystem. They pollinate a lot of plants which aren't visited by other insects. They're nighttime pollinators. For the work I've collaborated with a local researcher and organic farmer named Tommy Early. His contributions allowed me to more easily, safely capture moths for studying as well as identifying the ones that I had found. So the finished work is made up of um, various layers, combining different mediums and different materials. Digitally edited images of the moths as well as text is brought into the work through projection. My work is political. It, it's not really something that can be avoided today um, considering that climate change and habitat destruction is such a hugely important issue right now. My mum remembers the first time that I had taken an interest in art. I was about seven or eight and I'd come home from school and I was crying and I told her I didn't know how to draw. 
so she went out and she bought me this um, big how to draw book and it was one of those girly ones and it taught you how to draw princesses and knights and fairies and bunny rabbits and I just remember as a kid just stealing a bunch of printer paper and a HB pencil and I'd stay up for hours just meticulously trying to get all these little drawings out of this book perfect. You know that book played a huge important role in me becoming an artist and me taking an interest in art. I always considered myself incredibly lucky that I had somebody in my life who supported my creativity. Mm -hmm.